Ah, my favorite music within the game. At least one of my top fives, anyway. I don't know if it's the top one. Dragon Roost Island. Gotta love it. Also gotta love it because there's actually a few hidden little areas I haven't explored yet. One of which is this rock here. If you blow it up, you'll actually get a hidden hole here, which... The reward is not going to be very much worthwhile, but... This will only take a minute or so to do. Maybe a couple minutes, give or take. Two or three, three or four, five thousand, I don't know. <laughs> so this may look familiar, actually. Um, if you remember treasure chart, or treasure chart. Triforce charts number seven and eight, when we went back through, or we went in these rooms that had five doors, the entrance, and then of course a barred door. And then of course there were doors that had candles, or something on top of them that looked like a candle could be lit. Well, this is kind of a similar scenario, except the way we enter and exit is a little different. We just have to simply enter the doors as needed, or as, um, as we need to light them up, instead of, like, going into, like, enclosed rooms and then exiting to, like, the main hub room. These just magically automatically transform into, or transform. It automatically takes us to the next room we need to get to that, um... Oh, if we enter the door, of course. That needs to be lit up, or it, it takes us to the next room that we need to fight enemies. I don't even know if I... Did I make any sense there? Probably not. I would be surprised if I did, because I... Seriously, I'm just like, I'm souped up, I'm souped up on coffee. I'm on the edge of my seat thinking, I'm almost done, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. We can do this. Oh, yeah. <sighs> and I'm also like, oh, this should have been done a long time ago. Like, seriously, this is like the third time I'm having to redo this, so... If anywhere at all during the Reef journey, the Voting Force, the Paw Print Isle, or anything like that, if it seems like I'm a little antsy, it's probably because I'm like, I need to get this done because I'm getting sick and tired of having to redo this. And it's not to say that I'm getting sick and tired of playing this game, it's just I'm getting tired of having to re-record, or sit down and redo something that should have been A-OK -okay the first time. So far, so good. My recording's holding up. The sound sounds good. I should not have any more complicated issues to worry about. And anyway, I don't need... I don't know why I'm talking about such complicated... such, like, technical crap. Look what we got rolled. It is a pleasant surprise. Or, no, that's just great, man. What are you talking about? I'm talking about crazy stuff. That's... Crazy stuff, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about technical crap. That's that crazy stuff that, you know, nobody really cares about, but I, apparently, I think you all should care about. Ooh. So that's what this little area is. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. You could have actually visited this area much sooner if you had... If all you had was the Tingle Tuner, even if you didn't have bombs when you first came to this island, and you had access to, you know, working the Tingle Tuner... There's a way you can use bombs using that thing prematurely, so you could actually access areas that would otherwise require you to wait until you've cleared, like, the first, um, what is it, the first, yeah, it's the first two dungeons. And then, of course, you go and fight Jaboon and all that stuff. Anyway, cool story, bro. Let's see here, Prince Kamala. How you doing, dude? How's your flower? Salinas. My flower, it wilted. Sad face. Enjoyed Medley's face when she saw this flower. I really wanted to see that. <laughs> it tugs at my heartstrings. I'm sorry, buddy. Don't worry. If you go pick another one, I guarantee you. Hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. By the time that happens, I'll have completed this game and we won't have to worry about you waiting for Medley anymore because she'll have no reason to sit and guard the Master Sword or pray for the Master Sword to keep it powered up. Anywho, me rambling. I suppose I should probably talk about what the heck I'm doing next. Uh, there's actually a guard here who, a while back, mentioned he needed something for his girlfriend. So let's talk about him. Or talk to him, not talk about him. That's rude to talk about him, especially when we're in front of the guy. Yes, well. Anyway, I have no idea why she wants gold feather. My girlfriend, you know how it is. The way it is. Just gotta please him. Doesn't matter why, really. I just want it to see you happy. To see your smile, you know? Which is why I told her I'd send her a gold feather. Yeah, I think we had talked to him before, and he's like, Listen, if you ever see any of these things called gold feathers, feel free to donate them. So, uh... I think we have plenty. Here's the A gold feather. Hey! That's what my girlfriend wants! Sweet! So, how many of those do you have? 
Wait. What do you mean, how many do I have? I thought you said you only wanted one. So you really gonna let me have 20 of those? What? 20? Oh, fine, yes, you can go and have them. Really? Are you sure? Yes! Gonna get laid tonight. Gonna get laid tonight. Oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm gonna stick these little beauties in a letter and send them off right away. I'm gonna tell her all about you, too, man. Thanks. She'll be happy. I'm as happy as I am, man. Seriously. It's not much. Here, take this. Cool! Look what we got rolled! It's an orange rupee. My face is beaming! Yay! So, you might think, okay, is that it? Nope! Next chance we get, as far as, like, when the mail operates, and I think if we change it to the next, like, night, it will indeed let us, um, have a letter automatically delivered to us, and then we'll be able to get the second, the part two of the prize. But before I do that, we're gonna go ahead and uh, explore the last bit of the island. You may remember this area, um, is where we found Medley practicing her harp, but if we came over here... Uh, for those who remember the figurine collecting videos, I think they were, I think the video specifically was called Forest Haven, or excuse me, Forest Roost figurines, and I had to do all the, I had to do all this like bull crap of getting out to this little platform out here via changing the wind direction and using the deck relief. Well, we're gonna go ahead and do that again, except we're not going to. Oh my gosh! I hope I have enough. Oh, that's a tight one. Oh, Link. Oh, Link. Oh, Link! Oh, baby, yes. Anyway, me being gross aside. Whew, thank goodness they have recharge here. Because that'd be a roll of poop if they didn't. I don't know why I'm out of magic uh, magic potion so soon. I thought I took care of that. Alright, oh great stone. Enlighten me of your wisdom. Go that way. Boy, howdy, you're just such a stone with many words. Alright. Slight adjustment to the wind. I mean, I probably could have left it be, but um, then again, I probably wouldn't have made it if I left it be. So it's a good idea that I, w I went ahead and shifted it. Also, this car crack needs to not hit me. That'd be really cool. Just saying, dude. <sighs> okay, cool. He's not going to mess with me. Well, he's going to mess with me as soon as I land here, but that's of no consequence to me because I got a boomerang. Yeah, boomerang to the face. That's all it takes, baby. All right, Rock. Maybe you're a bit more chattier than your buddy. Go, Go that away. away. Well then, good to know these rocks love to have conversations worthwhile. And another tweak in the wind direction, northwest. Actually, I think maybe west would be better, but yeah. I think northwest will be good. Yep. And float on over, float on over, float on over, float on over, float on over. Please make it, please make it, please make it. Thank you, Link. You were amazing, dude. You were just aces. Oh, man. I mean, four aces, man. I'm going to win this pot. So, for doing all that, and uh, killing a few keys here, I think there are a few. I think there's only a couple. What are you doing out there? Are you cleaning your... Oh, he's sleeping. Aw, I can't mess with him. I'm going to leave him be. He's cute. Anyway, upon doing that, look what we got, world. My face is going to beam again because I just found a hundred more rupees. Yeah, buddy. Oh, now you're going to be awake and start, start trying to attack me. Well, I don't think so, sir. I'm going to take the pacifist route. And, uh, let's see here. Push that block out, and I don't think that really does anything, but it is really cool to have a random block out in the island here, just for the lulls, you know? And with that, <clears throat> that's pretty much all there is to Dragon Roost Island. I mean, there... I know it was kind of underwhelming. It's like, okay, you got 50 rupees, you got 100 rupees, you gave gold feathers, got 100 more rupees, so you got 250 more rupees. Is that real? Was that really necessary? Again, I go back to my golden principle rule. Sometimes it's more so the principle of exploring all the islands or all the areas have to offer, and I kind of want, kind of wanted to do that, even though it's right now it's kind of unnecessary to have this much in terms of rupee count. But anyway, let me go ahead and uh, turn to night time because I do want to get that piece of heart before we end off the video there. Wait, no, this isn't Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. Woo! Look at this mailbox. It's a dancing away. Dancing not away. Good evening. Letters for you. We have one. Here's your letter, buddy. 
Dear son S, I recently received some gold feathers from my boy for you, who mentioned you. Oh, I'm something of a bird enthusiast, so I know how hard it must have been to get all these feathers. I want you to be as happy as we are, Solon S. My dear, so I'm sending you this heart as a token of our affection. You didn't cut your heart out of your chest, did you? Because that would be disturbing. No, look what we got, World. It's a piece of heart. That's much better. All right. How exciting indeed. <laughs> Link's like, yeah, whatever, dude. You, be you put me through enough torture. Are we done yet? Yeah, we're getting there, dude. We're getting there. So, we've accomplished quite a bit. We finished up everything on Pawprint Isle. We did some exploring on the Dragon Roost Island. As far as I know, I think we took care of everything we can do. And uh, we got two heart pieces all together. We have 43 treasure charts. We still have six more somewhere out there. I know of a handful where they're at. But in terms of like knowing where every single one of these little bad boys are, couldn't say for certain. It's a little... My memory is a little fuzzy with that, but that aside, thank you all so much for watching. Love you inches. Please don't let's tail swap. And next time we meet, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do next, now that I've taken care of every little dinky side, little bitty side quest. Um, I'm thinking probably what's going to happen next is I'm going to go ahead and use the submarine chart here, which I didn't know. I didn't open it yet, huh? Yeah, I'm going to use a submarine chart, and we're going to go submarine plundering, because... We've explored the one that's um, three columns, or two columns from the right, uh, three rows up, because that one had the bottle, but we have a lot of other submarines we can explore, and I think some of them actually have some pieces of heart. There may be one or two of them that has a treasure chart, but whatever the case may be, we're probably going to do that next time. That being said, though, thanks for watching, take care, peace out, y'all. Check it.